Deputy Mayor Johnson, Mayor Mancuso, Committeeman Nunn, Mr. Quinn, Mr. Mills, Mrs. Emilio, honored guests and fellow residents, good evening. First, I would like to thank all of you that have the faith and the confidence in me to serve as Mayor of Mars Township for this year. It is a great honor and I am truly humbled. I will work very hard to serve this community that we all love so much. Thank you very much to the Mars Township Police Department's Honor Guard. And I wanted to have a special thank you to VFW Post 3401 Commander Jim Oriema. Thank you for swearing me in tonight. My grandfather was a member of the VFW Post 3401. I'm happy to have you here and it's a very special honor for me. Thank you very much and thank you for your service and all the men and women that you represent. The weight of the 2017 challenges lie, us, lie ahead of us all. We will not shrink from responsibility. We will welcome it. Now we must look to the future with hope and with a strong foundation of good government from the past. We have seen many successes in these past two years. Under the leadership of Mayor Caffrey, who is unable to be with us tonight, Morris Township's Recreation Department took on the task of reviving two of our fantastic pools, both Ginty and Streeter. Mayor Caffrey shepherded the successful and cost-effective automated trash system, and under his leadership, Morris Township preserved the Valley View Preserve with open space funds. He also dedicated a piece of that land as the Ted Larvin Community Garden. And if he was here, I'd say, Mayor, thank you very much for two terrific years of leadership. Under Mr. Mancuso and Mrs. Johnson's leadership, 2016 saw Mars Township not only be able to hold the line on taxes, but actually cut taxes in Mars Township. <laughs> Through Mr. Nunn's leadership, Mars Township launched a Facebook page to increase communications with our public, and our fire department under his leadership has developed a new protocol for the acquisition and maintenance of assets that has already saved us hundreds of thousands of dollars. Thank you all. <laughs> but soon our finance committee will once again begin the budget process, and once again we will be tasked with a difficult challenge. Morris Township has always prided itself on efficiency maintaining, fiscal conservatism, while simultaneously keeping a level of services at the highest level possible. I am confident that that standard will be maintained once again with all five of us looking at those lines closely. In 1981, President Ronald Reagan said, we must act today in order to preserve tomorrow. And let there be no misunderstanding, we are going to act. In order to stabilize our tax base, several years ago we formed the Morris Township Economic Development Advisory Committee. Under the leadership of Mr. Paul Stout, the Morris Township Economic Advisory Committee is meeting with all of our companies in Morris Township with the goal of working with them to partner in growing Morris Township's economic success. The committee has met with the state and county EDAs, and next month, Morris Township will have a meeting with the Lieutenant Governor's Office and the Business Action Center with our goal of attracting strong, long-term corporate partners that will enhance Morris Township's tax base and our community for many years to come. <clears throat> this has been an enormous challenge and one that continues to take time and perseverance, but with determination and energy, Morris Township will prevail. We need to think long in making decisions that will benefit everyone in the long term and not just react in the short term. In 2017, we will look to continue uh, innovations to make Morris Township affordable for seniors, for our families, and for our singles, as well as enhancing public safety measures for all. I am excited that we will be completing a project with Morris County's Homeland Security that will make our schools safer and our officers better prepared to face those security challenges. Our enhanced camera and communications program will ensure that the Morris Township Police Department and the assisting police departments will have the necessary intelligence to safely confront and dispel any incident, especially in our schools. 
Additionally, Police Commissioner Mancuso will be leading a project that will make parents of first-time drivers aware of an app that will disable their phones and texting capabilities when they are behind the wheel. We will continue to look to different measures to ensure that our kids and our roads are safe. With the recent renewed establishment of the Transportation Trust Fund, I've asked Mr. Nunn to look to see what opportunities there will be to take advantage of that fund to alleviate traffic issues throughout our community. With the success of our senior room located just next door, Mrs. Johnson and I will be working to identify financial opportunities and sites for a senior slash community center. This has been an ongoing priority and we will continue to make it such. And this year we will continue to keep up with technology in our ongoing efforts to be transparent and educate the public. For example, you will see additional social media rollouts for Morris Township, including Facebook Live segments, as well as Instagram and YouTube postings. Check the Municipal Messenger as we continue the new media and cost-effective media to inform our residents. In this communications revolution, we want to lead by informing our residents of the decisions and thought processes that we uh, bring to the concerns raised by our citizens. We will continue to be transparent and open to your ideas and matters of interest. We have a fantastic team here of incredible intergenerational representation. This body has Wall Street experience, corporate experience, legal experience, and governmental experience. We have representation that spans from young single, young family, children in college and high school, children just leaving home to start their journey, and established children with kids of their own. You see, this body wakes up every day with different challenges, but we have a similar story, and that similar story is the story of Morris Township. It is all of you. For those who only think they see heroes on the silver screen, I say you aren't looking closely enough. You can see heroes every day here in Mars Township, working here in our municipal building to serve the public, heroes that are picking up our garbage and recycling in zero degree weather, those people picking up our leaves in the heat and the rain, those men and women patrolling and protecting our neighborhoods, those men and women rushing to call uh, to a fire call or a car accident, those men and women running ambulance calls to save people's lives. You see, the men and women of Morris Township are remarkable people, and that is why I recognize Morris Township as the jewel of Morris County. They understand what John Kennedy said in his inaugural speech, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. My friends, it starts at home, it starts at a local level, and each and every one of you is a remarkable person who works for the greater good for everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm humbled and I'm honored to serve as your mayor for all 24,000 Morris Township residents in 2017. Happy New Year. God bless you. May God bless the Township of Morris. Amen.